at the top of my list when I sit down to write anything is the word adventure. A pantomime has to be an adventure. No matter what comic uh, routines are in it, no matter what love songs are in it, it's got to have at least 60% where the kids are holding onto the seat in front of them going, what's happening, what's happening? Oh, that's all right, it's worked Oh no, 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 no this is this totally, you know. They've, they've got to feel involved in the story. I'm here to help Cinder see all will be well. As soon as we've got a cast in place, I start writing. So it really can begin February, March time, given that I, I currently write 10 pantomime scripts a year. Some of the stars that we've had, the Hoff, who would have thought he would ever do Panto? Dame Edna, Sam Atwater, Gareth Gates, Suzanne Shaw from Hearsay, Jenny Eclair, Louis Spence. It's a bizarre old game. The big new uh, sort of Panto virgin, I suppose, is Linda Gray, uh, ex of Dallas. I'm playing the fairy godmother. Well, what could be better? What could be better? Oh, to go from Sue Ellen Ewing to the fairy godmother. Of course, it's sometimes the might, Sue Ellen might creep in, you know. She just wants center stage at all times, so I have to keep her at bay. So I've tried to sort of pepper the script with little Dallas references. Can you heal my finger as well? I, I shut it in the cellar door. Look, it's swelling up. It's swelling up. It's swelling up. Obviously, she's going to have an American accent, so we can build on that as well. Fairy god 